The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you, yes, you, find the things that you need on digikey.com. Searching is an art. So if you need help with finding something, you can always tag us across all the social medias. You can email us. You can let us know in the comments, all that and more. But this week, Lady Ada is looking for... Um, Non-contact infrared thermal sensors. Okay, what is this? Uh... So I used to carry this chip, this breakout, the TMP-007. Um, so a lot of times uh, folks are like, what? Well, like most projects, I, I like to tell people, like almost every project is temperature sensing. We're as humans, we love measuring temperature. Like what's the temperature of my fridge? What's the temperature of like the greenhouse? What's the temperature inside like the center of the sun? What's the temperature of my oven, my kiln? whatever with temperature we love it a lot of stuff is very temperature sensitive so i get it ice makers um so we stock a couple temp we try to stock a ton of temperature sensors so like you know your your standard mcp 9808 this is you know a i squared c temperature sensor but it's a contact sensor so it measures the ambient air or the temperature of the thing it's touching like what you're measuring is the chip in the temperature inside the chip here uh, and we have lots of sensors that do that. We have like the BME280, which I can't spell. BME280, which also has humidity. We have the uh, DS18B20s, which are, you know, we have them in cable type where you dunk them in water. We love measuring temperatures of water. Like, is it boiling? Is it freezing? What's going on here? Um, but all of these, you know, you have, to you have to dunk it in. It has to touch. But there's a lot of times you don't, or can't touch the thing you're measuring. One, uh, during COVID, very popular non-contact forehead temperature measurements. Remember, remember that where you go every place and they would ding, ding, they would measure your temperature to see if you had a fever, even though like many people got COVID never got fevers. Okay. Anyways, uh, so we have a couple sensors that do that. Um, one is this uh, contactless. MLX9614, available in both 5 volt and 3 volt. This is out of stock, but we have, maybe we have the other one. Actually, to be honest, it's, it's, you know, it's just a sensor and it's breadboard friendly, but it's I squared C. So people do like this. Um, my favorite is the thermal camera, camera breakouts where you can um, measure, this is a 24 by 32 infrared grid. There's also the grid eye the AMG, uh, which here we have, uh, we've done some uh, bicubic interpolation to make it look better, um, eight by eight. And uh, these are all good, um, but people, again, they really liked, people really liked the TMP007 because uh, it was, I never made this into seven QT because it got discontinued before I started making QT boards. Um, but it would, you know, you just point at the thing and within like, you know, a degree range, it would tell you the temperature. You didn't have to touch it. Also good for really hot things, right? Because you can't touch this to something that's hotter than like 100 degrees C without, well, possibly burning yourself. But eventually, if you get towards 125, uh, the chip stops functioning. Um, so it doesn't have to be close to the thing. It just has to be pointing at the thing. Uh, and so we got a request for a STEMA QT board that would be, you know, with the TMP-007 or the MLX-9614, um, not a camera. Also, the camera, to be honest, is quite expensive because the sensor is like 30 bucks. And um, then we have to assemble it and test it and stuff. Um, but they wanted a, um, a breakout that's plug and play, ready to go for uh, measurement um, with something like this. And, you know, it, I'm not against just using the MLX 9614, but to be honest, this sensor is quite old. I think that we've been stocking this sensor. I mean, this is product number 1748, which means we've been stocking it for many, many, many years. We put in, you know, on average per year, only what, like at the most 500 products per year, um, even less. We, we, we usually do 250, so you can see it's been... It's been 10 years since we put this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to export a data source and plot 
our uh, new products at some point and do a chart. That'll be fun. I mean, you could. It's yeah. quite easy. I have, I have the data. I can pull we it. We got the data. I have the data. We got the data. I have my school read access. Lady Ada's house of data and pancakes. Yes. Um, okay. So this is the MLX 9615. So this is the sensor that I was, you know, it, at first going to do, and it's about 11 bucks. There's two things about it. One, first, again, it is a little older. Second, it's through hold on surface mount, which is kind of annoying. I'd really prefer to have something I can pick and place on. So let's look at what other sensors we can get that are digital and infrared, because it's the kind of sensor it is. It's, it's infrared. I don't, I'm not going to select anything else because I'm going to see what's, what's available. Um, so you can see some of our favorites, AMG 8833, all the NLX 96, whatever's are available. Um, let's look at active because definitely like this TMP sensors, they got discontinued and, um, I'm not going to care too much about the mounting yet. Let's do that later. But I do want to be picky about the output type. I want I squared C or SM bus 45 and you are, are both, you know, serial interfaces. And direct link is like a it's I think like one wire ish. I, I don't want to deal with that. I want I squared C. I don't want to do a conversion. Thankfully most of them seem to be um like that. And then you know this isn't too bad. I'm just scrolling through to see a lot of them you can see a variance. So like Malexus will have like six billion variants and then like AMG they have like the five volt version. It's like kind of a trillion variant. There's a lot of variants. Honestly, there's not that many companies that make um, these sorts of sensors. You see some of the same part numbers over and over again, like the 15 trillion variants of the MLX series. But most of these are not in stock. So let's do normally stocking. And let's exclude marketplace, just so we're only looking at stuff that's stocked at uh, DigiKey. And then I do care about price. I feel like it can't be... One of the things I really liked about the TMP007 is it was like three bucks or four bucks. It was not that expensive. Um, and it worked fairly well. But like I said, none, you know, you go to you go to make breakouts with the army you've got, and the TMP007 is completely unavailable. So I put in the quantity of 500 because you know that's probably how many I'm gonna sell per year. Um, and let's see what's available. So yes, the MLX 9614 is here. But what I kind of like is, and I already have the AMG 8833, and also this is kind of getting into the too high. I wish I could filter by price and say, give me everything that's like under like 10 bucks. But what I do like is this sensor, which looks kind of promising here. Um, it's SMT, and it looks like you measure up to 200 degrees C, which is kind of cool. I squared C, 3.3 volts, which is, which is nice. Um, Fairly good accuracy. There's actually a couple, there's a BCB and a DCB and an RE and an SP, just kind of fun. We'll look at the data sheet real fast. This one is actually 0.2 degrees C accurate, which is like pretty amazing. So let's, uh, and they're all um, SFN at, you know, their, their surface mount. So let's look at the data sheet for this, for this kid. Okay. FIR sensor. Um, 3.3 volt I squared C. Ooh, you can even set the address. Great. So you have two of them if you so wanted to, or if there's a uh, um, collision, healthcare, body temperature, industrial temperature. It looks right. Nice and small. Um, available both standard and medical. And then they're calibrated, um, but can be used. Looks like the medical version is ideal for 35 to 42. So body, human body uh, and animal temperatures um but it can measure higher temperatures as well although the precision sorry the accuracy won't be as good once you get to 200 which is fine there's usually like within this range it's you know 0.1 degree c and then above this range it's like two or three degrees c okay so the variants are um the first letter is b or d for medical or standard and then they're all gonna have c they're gonna have b and then 3.3 volt and then standard config. So we want the 000. We don't want the 1.8 volt. So let's go back. I don't think the voltages. Oh no, the voltages are here. So let's make sure it can run at 
three. You know, all of them are. I'd say the fixture can run at three or five because that way it's the we don't have to do a buck converter. Or sorry, boost converter. Okay, so let's see what variants we've got here. Okay, so it's the VCB and the DCB. So one thing I noticed is that the DCB, which is that medical range one, it is a little bit more expensive. It's like a dollar more expensive, but it also has a purchase limit. Although I actually might contact DigiKey to see if this is true because I like I, I'm almost positive this probably got put in a few years ago when there was a huge um, rush to purchase uh, medical temperature sensors because everyone wanted to buy medical temperature sensors and they probably put a limit to be like hey don't like buy us all out because we want to make sure everyone has a chance and it could be that they just never react they, they never remove the limit so I'll, I'll probably contact them because it's a little bit more expensive but i do like the extra precision um and then the other difference is this is on tray i think this is also on tray if you don't mind the tray it's less expensive but if you want a lot the cut tape is there for you so i'm just going to say the cut tape because they have a lot kind of promising i sort of again i like to see when there's a lot in stock of an item because it means like I'm, when there's only like 200 left i'm always like is this something you guys are going to continue stocking but if there's sixteen thousand, and ditch is really good about only keeping as much stock as they sell this is probably a fairly uh popular sensor so this is my pick for the great search for non-contact infrared sensors with i squared c that are surface mountable that's a great search where 